Good morning and welcome into another episode of Saturday Morning Makes. I'm so glad you're joining me here. Um, Saturday Morning Makes, for those of you that are new to my channel, is an open art collaboration that I host every weekend here um, on my YouTube channel and on Instagram and Facebook at the Saturday Morning Makes and Today's 2 Facebook page. And then on Instagram, just hashtagging Satmorn Makes, same as on YouTube here. And anybody can join in this open art collaboration just by creating some form of art. Uh, you could do paper crafting, tag making, embroidery, crochet, knitting, uh, painting, watercoloring, whatever you want to do, um, whatever form of art, baking. Uh, my sweet friend Paula uh, has an entire channel full of wonderful baking and uh, canning and all sorts of things. But whatever creative art uh, you are involved in, um, that feeds your soul, we would love to hear about it and know more about it. And you can hashtag a photograph or a video with the hashtag Satmorn Makes, and uh, all one word. And then we will come and visit and see what you've been creating. So I hope you'll join in the fun. And of course, I welcome everybody in uh, who is participating this weekend or any time because you can upload any time you want. A lot of us upload on Saturday mornings and then we go hop around and visit all of our friends. So feel free to join in on Saturdays. But if you're maybe you're working Saturdays, you can upload at any time. Hashtag it Satmorn Makes and eventually everybody will come and visit you. Um, if it's your first time uploading, be sure and put a comment at the bottom of this video because I try to visit everybody, but there's a lot of people that upload and it takes me time to get around to all the channels. Um, but if you're brand new, I will definitely try and come and look right away and then share your channel in my community tab. Okay. And my community tab is here on my YouTube channel. All right. So let's dive into today's uh shares okay uh i did receive my hemp twine that i ordered anna um gave me a link because i couldn't find it for some reason in the craft color um on amazon and i ordered a pack of three for 9.99 um so that will last me a long time and i'm very happy to have it so thank you anna um very excited to have that um i have been doing a little bit of crocheting this week um, and you remember I got a couple uh, little rolls of um, different yarns at the thrift store on my last thrifty haul. And so I've been using those to crochet some little scarves. So let me set these aside and uh, I will show you. Um, I've made one out of the one that's kind of a cotton and silk blend. And then I also made one out of the thicker yarn that has that cream and brown tones to it. And the reason I've been making them is so that I can add them to, to some ornaments. This was a little ornament that I picked up at a store. I don't remember which one. It might have been Michael's or um, Hobby Lobby or something. I don't know. Um, I can't remember where I got it now. But um, I just felt that she needed a little scarf around her neck. So I took one of the crocheted scarves and just tied it on to her. And I think she looks so much cozier. <laughs> so she's going to go back on my gingerbread hot cocoa cookie tree in my kitchen. And uh, I've also been playing around with making some ornaments. I don't know how much I'll be able to share before Christmas time, but um, I think I may continue to do some um, just to just to, you know, create something different than paper crafting for a while because it is fun to do different things. So um, I wanted to share those. Then I also wanted to share that I finished all of the this beautiful baby Jesus. Um, this is a die from Gina Marie Designs. Um, let me see if I can pull the die out again for those of you that maybe haven't seen it before. Um, this is Gina Marie Designs. And uh, if you type in Gina Marie Designs dies, uh, you'll find her website. I think it's Wholesale Crafting Supplies or something dot com. And, uh, but this is the die that I've been using. And uh, so I just cut it from a bunch of scraps that I had. This is some uh, red uh, glitter poster board that Hobby Lobby so sells. And I had some scraps in my stash. So I cut some from that. Um, and this Oh Holy Night is from Lily of the Valley. This is a set that they just turned into polymer this year. 
and uh, it's also uh, digital. And many of their stamp sets are both polymer or digital, depending on what your preference is or if you want both. Uh, the nice thing about digital is, of course, you can size them to any size that you need. And that sometimes comes in handy when you're making larger or smaller gift tags. So um, I did go through and add sentiments to all of these. This is the Lily of the Valley Grunge Messages, Grunge Christmas Messages set. And I used that on several of the tags. This gold um, paper, this gold foiled cardstock is a Tim Holtz paper pad that I've had for years. Um, and you can see that same set again. This one says, Oh, Holy Night, the stars are brightly shining. Uh, here's another one just in a, a pretty paper that um, I had a scrap on my desk. And uh, I did that. This again is, um, these are actually some scrap um, popcorn containers I got for like 22 cents at Hobby Lobby. And I just opened them up and I cut some out of those uh, just to have some sparkly gold ones too. Um, so here they all are, I finished them all off. This one says Joy to the World from that same stamp set at Lily of the Valley. And I will try and link all of the sets that I use down below um, for those of you that are interested. Um, Lily of the Valley had been doing free shipping. I'm not sure if the free shipping promotion has ended, but um, if you're interested in any of these sets, please go to lilyofthevalleystamps.com. Okay, so those are um, the little uh, manger scene tags, and I was so happy to get those done. They'll be going off to some people in my family that asked for them. And now I'm gonna show you another set of tags that I ended up creating. And uh, I'm gonna go through the supplies I used really quick. I used this Ripe Avocado Ink from Paper Tray Ink, as well as Scarlet Jewel. These are two of my favorite Christmas colors from Paper Tray Ink. Um, I also used some Vintage Photo Distress Ink. And uh, I used um, some Jingle Bells from Factory Direct Craft, my rusty Jingle Bells. I'm still using this Crafty Red Sampler from, um, from Annie's Paper Art Boutique, and I'm down to just the craft left. I've used all of the others, so most of it is gone now. Um, I used all of the Totally Red and all of the um, Crafty Red, and all I have left is some Totally Craft. But this is from Annie's PaperArtBoutique.com. Um, wonderful twine. And then uh, let's show some of the dies that I'm using. I'm using this beautiful Stitch Star die from My Creative Time. I believe this is retired. I don't think she has this in the shop right now. It, but those of you that have been with My Creative Time for many years will probably have this in your stash. Um, this is a new set from My Creative Time. This is the Prim Hearts and Alpha Stamps. So it's Prim Heart dies, and then it comes with some Alpha Stamps. And uh, I use this die right here on the tags that I'm gonna show you. So this one right here. Um, I use this Whittle Rudolph die. This is from Poppy Stamps. It's die 2118. And uh, it's a two piece die. You glue the head onto the, the body piece. And I love this little, I love their entire Whittle collection. And you can go to their website, which is poppystamps.com. And they're also carried at regular stores like Simon Says Stamp, for example. Frantic Stamper, I think, carries them. Um, so you'd be able to find them at a variety of places. I use this wonderful tag set from IO Dyes. This is an Anna White die. Anna has a wonderful channel here on YouTube. And uh, you can find um, lots of inspiration there. But this is one of her die sets for, for Impression Obsession. And I actually used both size, sizes of these tags. And uh, I love the stitching in these. She has two different sets on the website. There's also one with more of a rounded top. I just own this one right now. Um, and then there's this beautiful creative die by Penny Black. Um, this is, uh, what is this one called? Let's see. This one's called Rows of Stitches, okay? And uh, it impresses into your cardstock these beautiful stitching lines. And I've had this for years and I pull it out a lot at Christmas time. Um, these are just some dies that I pulled off my magnets down in the basement just so that I could um, cut out some little sentiment strips. So there's some sentiment strips in here. Honestly, I have no idea what company they're from anymore. I've had them for so many years, but many, many companies sell dies like that. Um, I use these little Holly um, stickers. These are from Hobby Lobby. 
okay? They're called Glitter Holly with gemstones, and there's 28 pieces, and these are carried in their Christmas section at Hobby Lobby. From Gina Marie Designs, I also use these little um, enamel dots, both in the brown and a couple in the red, and I also used for Rudolph's nose some just some red uh, gems from Dollar Tree. Um, from Hobby Lobby, again, I use these little uh, bow stickers, and I did trim them down slightly. And these are also from Hobby Lobby, and I used a couple of these Merry Christmas stickers on the back of some of the bigger tags. And then uh, from Lily of the Valley Stamps, again, I used this beautiful Festive Definitions stamp set. That's the name of it right there, Festive Definitions. And specifically, I use this one that is the Reindeer Definition, okay? So I used that, and then from their Christmas mini icon tags at Lily of the Valley, I used this beautiful reindeer stamp. Let me see if I can find it in here for you. Here it is. So it's this is what it looks like in the package right here, and uh, this is what it looks like stamped out, okay? And uh, so I did stamp a bunch of these out and use those on the tags I'm going to show you. These are some purchases. You know that Studio Light is one of my very favorite companies. And um, I recently made a couple purchases over the holiday. Um, I think it was over Thanksgiving and Black Friday. I believe I purchased these from Frantic Stamper from Fran. Hello, Fran. And uh, she has a wonderful store full of wonderful products. And uh, I purchased both of these sets um, and I know a lot of you wanted that snowflake set that I showed uh, a week or so ago from Amazon and it sold out. So I wanted to show you other sets that I have that I just love. And these are from their grunge collection specifically. And these are wonderful ones for Christmas. And they have so many cute little images in them that you can use for so many things. Two Crafters One Design is doing Christmas trees this weekend. And uh, I, I'm going to add this to the back of one of the cards um, that I'm using. Uh, that I made. But there's also this Christmas tree image here. They have this beautiful wreath. I love this kind of drippy star one. Isn't that neat? Oh my gosh, such fun stamp images. There's some little X's that you could use for snow or many different things. Uh, there's a one penny one. There's Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. There's this circle that you could use as the moon or so many different ways, um, even to just make a circle pattern. And then there's also this star one here and a little line image with some text on it. And then this, and then let me see if I can give you the information. This one's called Christmas Elements Clear Stamps. That's the name of it. Okay, and it's Studio Lights Grunge Collection. And if it helps, here is the uh, information on the tag, okay? And then the other one, this one is called, um, does this one have a name? Well, here is the tagline on this one, SLGR Stamp 106. And uh, it doesn't have a name other than that that I can see. Um, but this one is a larger six by eight set. And uh, I'll show you the two different sizes. This one's a little bit smaller, like a, a, a four by six or four by eight, maybe. And, uh, or four by six. And then this is a six by eight for sure. And I love this one because of the, the this beautiful buck or deer. It has the deer in a scene with trees. I use both of these on my cards. It has this beautiful bear scene with trees, and then it has a little tree stamp circle here too. And uh, these would could be used in so many different ways. There's some beautiful grungy music notes. There's a Merry Christmas. There's an Enjoy. There's a set of antlers here. Um, there's some stars, one with music notes, which I just love. Um, there's a little block print here with little... Uh, you know, that you could use in backgrounds. There's some snowflakes, some stars and a moon. There's this long stitching die um, that puts like a blanket stitch around whatever you're making. Um, there's this little emblem here with another star. Winter greetings, Merry Christmas, and fa -la, la 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 And then there's this beautiful pattern, which if you look closely also is a tree pattern. Um, but just gorgeous. So there's this little tiny star here too, which I just love. So these are investment pieces that you will use Christmas again and again and again, just all year long, really. It doesn't just need to be for Christmas because so many of the images can be used year round. 
and uh, they're just really great investment stamp sets. So I wanted to share those with you. Those are all the products that I used to create what I'm going to show you. Let me set those over there. And let's start with this little card. Um, and what I've been creating are some little reindeer tags. And this one I added to the front of a My Creative Time uh, creative card die. Uh, these, this is um, Emma's version of the mini slimline. And while I'm on here speaking of my creative time, I want to send my love out to Emma. Um, if you haven't been to her channel or to her feed on Instagram, I made a video on behalf of Emma because Emma has been in the hospital. And she is home now, but she is fighting a blood infection. And I give all the information over on her YouTube channel, and it's also loaded to her Instagram feed. And I just hope that we can all keep Emma and her family in our prayers and um, just support their company, support their business while Emma is recovering, but realize that shipping and responses to requests will be slower than normal because Emma is not able to work right now. And uh, we send our love out to their entire family. And uh, just I, I just hope that you'll all continue to support my creative time as Emma works towards a full recovery. And uh, please send her heartfelt condolences also because she lost her beloved um, angel, her dog angel, passed away. Um, and unfortunately, Emma was not able to be with her when it happened. So that's quite a heartbreak for all of you that follow Emma um, and have heard her dogs in the background of her videos for many, many years. It's always so hard when we lose a member of our family, um, our beloved pets. So um, Emma, we're thinking of you. I send my the biggest hugs your way to Anthony and Aaron and your husband and Emma, your mom and all the family. And uh, just we just are praying for your full recovery. So um, I did use her creative card um, dies to create this little card. And uh, you can see that beautiful buck image from that stamp set that I just showed you here. And then the other thing that I use, those little snowflakes in that uh, Scarlet Jewel color from Paper Tray Ink, this is a peg stamp um, from Stamps by Judith. And I've had these in my stash for a long time. Um, and they're just so fun to use. So I added um, some of those along here too. And then you see that reindeer sentiment from uh, Lily of the Valley Stamps. That's their festive definition. It says reindeer, a deer of the tundra and subarctic regions, which has large antlers and pulls Santa's sleigh. And then the other little thing that you see here are some little stars. And this was a packet of Sizzix, um uh, embellishments that I got. It was a pack of like four or five in a little tube. And these are the little cream colored stars. And I pulled these out um, just to add a little sparkle to this card. So there's three little stars along this pathway. And uh, I just think that looks so cute. So um, you can see the cute little reindeer. Oh my gosh, this deer is just adorable. And of course, this one has antlers. So it's a boy. And on this one, I didn't make it into Rudolph. I just made it a regular deer and those Gina Marie Designs brown smallest size enamel dots are perfect for the noses on this die set. And uh, I used Anna's beautiful die in the background to create the tag. It is a double-sided tag that can be pulled off, okay? And uh, it does have a heart on the back of the tag so that they could write a little message to someone. So whoever receives this card can actually take the tag off and use it as a gift tag. And then on the back, I did stamp one of the little tree stamps um, on the back. And I did that because this week's um, Two Crafters, One Designs theme is Christmas trees. And I had hoped to do a whole Christmas tree card, and I hope I still will get to. But I wanted to include um, some Christmas trees on this card um, so that I could uh, share the two crafters, one design hashtag. So that is the little mini slimline type card. And then let me dive into the tags that I created. I'm going to bring them out here and I'll just go through them one by one. Uh, what I didn't do is bring in uh, the paper pads that I used this time. They're the same paper pads I was using on my previous episode of Saturday Morning Makes. And these were the leftover scraps from the projects that I made in that video. So I used all my little leftover pieces to create these tags. And uh, you can see how cute that little icon reindeer tag looks on here. 
and then you have underneath that the the um, definition tag. So those are just attached, and then I have a little safety pin um, with a little um, rusty jingle bell from Factory Direct Craft. And uh, I just think this looks so cute. You know how much I love my gingham. This is from the Gingerbread Kisses paper pad at, at My Creative Time. It's one of my favorite paper pads. And then in the background, I have a nice cardstock with kind of a um, a texture to it. I don't know if it'll come across on camera, but it has um, a texture to it. And then you can see all the beautiful stitching in Anna's tag die from Impression Obsession. So um, on the back of this one are just some snowflakes. But on a lot of them, I added a white heart and I might need to go back and add that to this one so that if this is used as a tag, there's something for them to write to and from on. But if you had a black marker, you could definitely write over the snowflake pattern and it would be just fine. So that's my first one. And I'm just going to go through these and I'll show and show them to you. Some of them only have the little reindeer tag. Others have the sentiment. I just was playing around with different ideas while I was making these. Um, but they all have a little jingle bell on a safety pin. And, uh, and then a lot of them have a heart on the back that you could also write on. Um, so I just think these turned out so cute. Some of them I put the tags up at the top of the tie. So they're hanging um, up up near the top of the tag. And uh, I just think these turn out so, so cute. And uh, it's so fun to do some nature-related tags with reindeer. Um, reindeer are, are a big part of pulling Santa's sleigh. And uh, I like to represent them. This one has the big gem on it for Rudolph's nose as if it's glowing. And I just think this turned out so, so cute. <laughs> and then... Um, I did a few more like that with the reindeer tag and and the glowy nose. And, uh, and then some of these have just a white one on the back so they can write to and from. And uh, a lot of these, like I said, they end up on my family members' trees and uh, they'll decorate with them year after year. But some of my sisters and stuff, they use them as gift tags. And so they do get used as both. So I try to make it so that they can be used either way. Um, I love this one with the, the polka dots and the snowflakes in the background. And on this one, I made it so that the, the reindeer's head is kind of curved a little bit. So I don't know if you can see that, but this one actually almost looks like it's on here a little bit crooked too. Anyway, um, so they're handmade. <laughs> and then I made a couple that were of the bigger size tag too. And uh, I just think they turned out so cute. I love this festive definition set from Lily of the, the Valley. And I'm really hoping we'll do some additional sets like that with definitions. It's such a fun way to make Christmas tags. So those that is my set of reindeer tags. And then I also made two that were reindeer couple tags. So I thought I would show you these two. Um, this one uses, uh, again, uh, some tags that I had actually cut out. Uh, last year and they were still in my stash and I wanted to use them. Um, and on this one, I added Rudolph plus his girlfriend. And uh, I did a brown nose on the little girl. Rudolph, of course, has his red nose. And then you can see the sweet little uh, reindeer tag at the top, my little jingle bell um, on the pin. And then I just tied the twine from Annie's Paper Art Boutique in a bow. Um, so really, really cute. And again, this is that Two Crafters One design was to use Christmas trees. And so this one also uses trees. So those are my two projects for Two Crafters One design. And then this is another one. This one I use that little, um, the little die I showed you that cuts out the, the little uh, tag. And this one says Sweet Holiday Wishes, which is from, um, uh, I believe it's from, my Creative Times apron set, if I'm remembering correctly. I should have brought that in, but I didn't. Um, and then there's the little reindeer again, and you can see the little um, girl and boy deer here. The girl doesn't have antlers, and the boy does. So uh, these just turned out so cute, and these are wonderful to give to family members that are married or a couple, and uh, I just thought this was a cute idea. And I love, um, I didn't bring these dies in, but um, these are a set of frame dies that uh, are sold many different places. I know Spellbinders sold them back in the day. Um, I believe the sets that I have are from Tailored Expressions. Um, I believe I have a different set that came from Cherry Lynn Design, which I believe is now called Maker's Movement or something. Um, but you can get definitely this type of a die set 
uh, from many different um, places if you're interested. So, and I believe, I think they're called fla square flare or I don't remember what Tailored Expression calls hers, but um, I believe that this particular set is from Tailored Expressions. So uh, those are my little um, reindeer tags. And of course, uh, I already showed you all of the, the sweet baby Jesus tags. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at all of these projects in this particular episode of Saturday Morning Makes. For all of you that are struggling with health issues, caring for loved ones that are ill, going through grief um, at the loss of a loved one. I know a friend of mine just said she lost her daughter. Um, and for those of you that are fighting cancer, which always holds a special place in my heart since I lost my husband to cancer, I just send my love out to all of you. And uh, I just, I wanted to give a shout out to Car Carol and to my friend, cat because I have their happy mail and I'm hoping to film it. Um, my son and I both were a little bit under the weather <laughs> um, the past couple days and we're both doing better, a little better today. So um, I'm hoping to get some things filmed this weekend. Um, bear with me. It's a busy time of year and I know you all understand that. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Saturday Morning Makes and Two Crafters, One Design. And I've already peaked and there is a ton of wonderful videos that I'm going to get to watch over the weekend. And I, if, if for some reason I miss your videos and I'm not seeing them, please make sure you have the hashtag Satmorn Makes included in your download. That is what leads me out there to, to come and watch your channel. And uh, if for some reason you don't want to add the hashtag and you want me to see your video, please just leave me a comment in the drop down menu. I try to always go and visit anyone that asks me to. Um, it might take me a while, but I will get there eventually. Okay. All right, everybody. If I if I'm not back with you soon. I wish every single one of you that's tuned in today a very happy holiday season. Merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah. Um, choose joy if you can. Uh, let warm memories comfort you. And uh, just enjoy the sight sounds and the wonderful smells of our trees and cookies baking. All the wonderful things that make Christmas such a special time of year. I send you all joy and love. Bye now.